God loves you. God loves you. Yes. There are many witches around you. Yes, Lord. You understand? Who want you to die? Jesus. Already they have attacked your feet now. Yes. Huh? Yes, Pastor. Uh, you are feeling pains. Yes. When you are sitting here, you are feeling pains. It's true. Huh? It's true, Daddy. And, and this thing makes you to struggle. It's Daddy. But you are a prayerful person. According to me, you are an intercessor. Yes, Jesus. But Satan is fighting you. Because they throw things, you walk on those things there. It's now true, your feet here. Yes, Daddy. It's a problem, eh? Yes, Daddy. Sometimes you feel very hot. Yes, Daddy. It's true. Can you just come here. Let me pray for you. No one will stop you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you. Come on, you demon. Come on. <sighs> Leave it. You are free, eh? My name is Anoktula Patricia Lamini. I'm from Swaziland. Mm -hmm. I would like to confirm that the men of God have said to me that I've got uh, a problem with my challenge with my legs and feet, which is true mm -hmm. because always in the morning I could feel the pains on my legs. I always rub my legs and my feet because of the pain. I will tell other pastors that they should come to Sherry's because when you pray, God hears your prayers and you can, can be located. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. God wants to use you as a prophet. You understand? But you must be careful of spirit of pride. Amen. Huh? I hear you. Man. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. So what you can do, you be yourself. Amen. You understand? Yes. Uh, I think the guidance of today of studying the word faith is important for you. Amen. You understand? I hear you. Man. So God wants to use you. Because in the beginning, you were desiring to see visions. It's true. But nothing was happening. It's true. And then from there you began to follow the service of God. It's true. But still nothing happened. Nothing happened. It's true. But can I tell you this? Because God doesn't want you to be like anybody. Eh. He wants you to be like yourself. He's anointing you today and he will start to use you. Uh, my name is Pastor Emmanuel Nessi from Pumalanga in Whitbank. Uh, uh, when I came here today, I uh, wasn't expecting actually to be prophesied. The only thing that I came for was to come for deliverance. But then uh, God uh, went ahead of me and uh, he gave me a word of prophecy. Uh, and I confirm it to be true. What the man of God said, I desired more, more of the gift of prophecy. Uh, and everything that he said, that uh, visions and everything were not there anymore. Uh, because of the journey and the, the things that happened in in my journey with with God, yeah. Uh, to me, it it made me to actually to 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 to, to be excited uh, to know that God actually listens to our inner deep and deepest prayers, because it was not something that I normally share with anyone. It was within me. I kept it quiet until today. It was exposed to show that God sees and hears. Uh, believe in what God has said to you. Uh, as we were told today that uh, have faith, have faith in him, not uh, relying on what other people might say or in the things that other people might say. But I would say that trust in what you believe that God will do for you and you will definitely succeed and God will make it come to pass. Where's your husband? He died in 2008. But you are, you, are, you are failing to let it go. You are failing to let it go. And I want to pray for you. Eh? Amen. Do you believe God can give you a partner? Yes, I believe God. From when? From now? I think God's time is the best time. It's God's time now. It's fine. It's, if it's God's time, it's fine. If you agree with me, 2008. Yes. If you take this ring, you put it this side. People will talk. But they are afraid of this ring. Because this thing now is hurting your heart. Yeah. You understand? God Amen. loves you. Eh? Amen. I'm not saying forget your husband. 
But I'm saying, uh, Satan want to use this just to kill you. Okay. Because yes, now it. always your heart here is giving you a problem now. Leave this out. Leave the heart. Huh? Leave this out. Huh? Why do you want to kill her with these memories? Speak up. Why are you using this moment? Come on, you demon. Just come on. Uh, my name is Louisa Makwadi. I'm from Mahube Valley in Mamilodi. The prophecy from the man of God was true because I also had a spirit of fear and doubt of remarrying and that, is, that was confirmed by him because I doubted that I will, will I be able to be happy in this marriage or not. Yeah, so I trust God now that God has delivered me from that spirit of fear and doubt because God is the author and finisher of everything. I'm feeling relieved right now because, you know, as I came uh, this morning, I could feel it in my spirit that God was going to do something in my life. And that is the change that I accept from God because he knows everything. He's the Alpha and Omega. Whatever is happening in our lives has been planned before by him. He knows our future, he knows our past, he knows Jesus. even our present. So everything that has happened today, it's really true in my life. Stella, where's your chair? In Botswana. That's, that's it. Lift him up. Where's your chair? In Botswana. Lift him again. Where's your chair? <laughs> Lift him up. Where's your chair? <coughs> Lift him up. Lift him up. Carry him up. Where's your chair? <coughs> Leave him there. Lift him again. Where's your church? <coughs> so you can see he can't talk now. He's coming from Botswana, but he can't say I'm from Botswana. I'm from Willie Mandela. I'm from Botswana. It's not easy when God is there. Because he's confused in his ministry. People are coming, they are going, come, they are confusing him. Lift him, lift him up. You are worrying about people who don't stay in the church. And here you are preaching the truth. Yes, sir. Huh? They don't come, they just come and go, come and go. Yes, sir. Huh? That's true, dear. And uh, now God is anointing you. No one will be able to stop you. Amen. <laughs> come. Are you a pastor? Huh? Yes, prophet. From where? Swaziland. Swaziland. Yes. Hey. God loves you, eh? Thank you, Jesus. God loves you. I hear you. Thank you, You must Jesus. pray very serious. Amen. Yeah, because even yourself, this confusion concerning the issue of the ministry. Amen. You have to pray, pray, pray. And then you wanted to do business. Amen. It's true. 100% eh? true, prophet. You wanted to do business, and you are looking around because there's no financial support. Amen. So that's why you normally think about doing business. Eh? Uh, it's true, prophet. And, and now God wants to raise you. Praise God. God wants to raise you without looking on the issue who's supporting you or not. Sometimes Amen. we must leave the people and we concentrate to the one who called us. Amen. You hear me? Amen. You leave these people coming here promising because people are promising you things they don't do. It's true. Huh? It's huh? very true, prophet. And this has lowered your faith now. And Amen. you can't trust anybody now. Amen. Mm. So God loves you. When I pray for you, 
Talk about We touch your stomach. You are anointed. It's a vision where you saw a man of God laying hands on you. Yes, sir, yes, yes, sir. It was prophetic with Joshua. Yes, yes, it's, huh? it's, it's true, it's true. It's you true, saw him laying hands on you. Yes, man, but it's true. But since then, you felt somehow. Yes, huh? yes. So you were asking what is happening to you. Yes, man, huh? it is true, it is true. Because God wants to lift you to another level. Amen, amen, amen. Hey. Please hold him. It's not only that dream. There was a man he has dreamed who's like in a man of God who was trying to attack him. Yes. You remember? Lift him up. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes, huh? sir. yes, sir. I know. And you will say, why this man is doing this? Yes. Because you never wanted to dream this man. You don't want, you've got no connection. Yes, sir. But you saw him try to attack you. Yes, it's true. So don't worry. I'm praying against that attack now. Because you want to hear from God. and Thank you. In Jesus' name, you are free. God loves you, but we must pray against these people around you. Yes. You understand? Amen. People are hating you without cause. Are you aware? Yes, yes. You know her? It's my wife. It's your wife, okay? They hate this woman. They are attacking this woman to attack the ministry. Yes. Uh, they are talking many, many things against your wife. Yes. So, please, can you just give it to God? You people come together, you will make it. Amen. You, you hear? Uh, and now she started to be sick. Your wife started to be sick. Yes. There's a pain that she feel in the back here. Did she tell you? Yes, she talked about huh? it. Yes. She said what? She has got pains in the back. At the back here? Yes. You are free. Let me touch you. You are anointed. Let me touch you. I saw where you have got a chair. Is it a building? Yes. Yeah? We have a building in the tent. A building? Yes. We have a building in but Johannesburg. this building is very small compared to where God is taking you. Amen. We yeah? receive that. Amen. It's a, it's a very small building. I see a building that was used before by a certain church. The building that I'm seeing. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's, well, well, you're renting a Don't building. Don't mention any church. I'm yes. just saying that what they were doing there was not from God, but it's affecting you, yes. your ministry. You will make it. Amen. You have a demo here. There's a demo. I want to confirm the, po uh, the prophet that the pastor said, the apostle said to me, he said that uh, people hate me and they talk badly about me in the church, which is very, very true because uh, a lot of people have been saying bad things about me. It's like I even felt like I wasn't meant to be in the church. There is a time I thought maybe I should just stay at home, I would argue with my husband that maybe I should just stay at home and not go to church because people would say like I felt like I was the bad person in the church that maybe I was affecting the church badly so I should just stay at home so I was surprised when the prophet spoke about it and then he said that uh, this thing has caused me a uh, sickness and it's very very true because I used to tell my husband that I have a pain in my back like when I sit down for long and I even have a high blood pressure now so the prophecy was very very true and I I feel that today God has heard my prayers like I am so relieved because I felt like God could not see me I was in that space where I was so frustrated but today I feel like God has heard me and I thank God for that The prophecy was very true because uh, what the apostles said to us is that what is happening in our life, in our ministry. Uh, my wife, the prophet spoke about this, the pain that my wife has 
every back and it's true because she has even operations and she's always complaining of uh, of these back pains. And other things, Prophet uh, spoke to us about the ministry, that where the wall that we are using is got a lot of things that are working against the ministry, which I confirm is true sometimes because they hired place, they come, some women's inside that wall and they do a lot of stuff there, so which I confirm to be true. And the other one is concerning the people that hit my wife. Yes, uh, in the church there, there are people that hate her for no reason and it has even caused strain in our marriages. Those that are close to her, that, uh, that say they love her, they always tell her things that will make us to quarrel. And uh, this has affected our relationship so much that uh, sometimes she doesn't even want to go to church because of these people. But I thank God that she always praying that God will help her. And for coming here, it has helped us a lot to understand our, our vision. And, uh, but also the prophet said, said the place uh, the way we are is small. Yes, we thank God for that because we've been seeing it is very big because of the people that we have. But now we'll see there's a lot of space. So, But the prophet said it's very small, which surprises us. Uh, God is seeing something great that is going to happen now. Minister. So we thank God for his mouthpiece, the prophet, to us. Mm. I would say to them, don't give up. I nearly gave up, but um, after keeping on coming here, I've been coming here for some time, but I didn't, uh, the pastor, the, the prophet did not uh, see me before. But after keeping on coming, then today God had mercy on me. So I would tell them to be patient, to support their husbands, and to not blame them for what is happening, because I think it's meant to be, to strengthen us. Uh, the words of the prophet of the apostle is very true. When we listen to it, when the man of God speaks, let us listen to be wise because he has shown us the direction which we could not even see. And now we've got a direction because the word of God has come out to us. And we say, let us listen to the man of God when he's speaking. Because he speaks truly uh, without any favor. He doesn't not know our ministry, but he comes and tells us everything about him. That we, we try. This is the voice of God, not the voice of man. Look here. Go. Go. Remove, remove this thing. Remove, remove this thing you put in there. Remove. Remove this thing. Yeah? Remove. Remove everything. Remove this. Rise up. You are free. Rise up. Look here, Mama. God has healed you. Amen. Huh? Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because there are things you put, you feel always it's in true. your leg. Yeah? It's true. You know, it's your wife. She's my wife. She's away. Yeah. There are things you always feel here. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. They, there are things that are moving. It's true. Huh? It's, it's true. Huh? It's true. It's true. So there's no stroke on you. <laughs> I thought it was a stroke. Yeah? I thought it was a There's stroke. There's no stroke. You won't be bitten by a stroke. God loves you, eh? Yes, thank so you. So these things God. are out. You are free. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well,